<laughs> uh, just be wary of the of the crotch moment because right now I can see. I oh, love, there was a lot of crotch the other day. I love that your whole bald. You know, Pete, when the sun is blazing and the summer gets hot, Water Country is a very cool spot. How gorgeous is she? I would say not really. Okay, but interesting looking. Here's a tip for sharing things with your friends. <laughs> Make sure that the response you get is the one you want. Don't you dare miss an episode of the new series, Work the World, featuring me. Hi, I'm the drag queen lash growth serum, Latrice, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the cyst on your leg that just got diagnosed with tendinitis, Katya. <laughs> And welcome to oh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show, not yours. Impulse, 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 impulse. Are you ashamed? I feel embarrassed about being ashamed. Have you had any like milestone shame moments in your psychosocial development? Anything gay. <laughs> because I was so afraid of being gay. Really? The anything growing up where I'm gay, I was just like a kid walking by in the hall and just saying, F Okay. Yeah. And like it could end my day. Like sure. I just like can't go on. Yeah, it sucks. Which by the way is right. Yeah, but now it's the only way. So I'm looking back, it's like somebody's like, You're gay. I, I, looking back, I'm like, Yeah, you were. Yeah, gay as hell. And what? Yeah. You want to this bitch? <laughs> I would, a lot of them, isn't that, isn't that the kicker? A lot of times the guy that's your aggressor when you're young and gay, oh, mama, you would fuck him. And guess what? Oftentimes, you do. do. Oh yeah. Even like dating, internalized homophobia. Uh huh. When I'm single and dating, I'm like, I better, uh, what if they find out how gay I am? Yeah. I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Sure. Or like, any, I mean anything, what if they find out I only have to like rerun some bones? <laughs> you, know, you know that guy, Buffy? David Boreanaz? Yeah. His name is not Buffy. He's that Buffy guy. Yeah, he's that Buffy guy. You know Buffy? <laughs> You're like, I, as a necrophiliac, I turned it on to <laughs> to Bones wasn't really what I thought it would be. Yeah, I just stick yeah. to the bone collector now. Denzel Washington, he is a black man. That's what I feel though. When I'm really embarrassed, I feel... want to stand in front of a pipe that's going to melt my skin off like bone collector. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Like when you're a kid, you experience like, like embarrassment so severely. It's so severe. Which makes no sense. Now nothing can embarrass me that way. I could put my pants on stage and not be embarrassed. I, I mean, would. I would actually love to do that if it happened. Like do kids now get ashamed of being gay? Yes. Because celebrities now are like, they're not even gay and they're like, oh, I'm gay too. Like my page. Yeah. Not gay. Yeah. You ain't gay. Rich, so you gay. If you suck <laughs> once, you ain't gay. Where's your wigs? You Where's your gowns? Where are your wigs? Where are your gowns? Where are your shoes? Where's the covered smocks that yeah. you're hiding? Yeah. If you're not literally a destroyer, you ain't gay. No. Destroyer. If you're not up swiping left at like 2 a.m., mm -hmm. you ain't gay. If you haven't ever watched seven seasons of a TV show for one gay kid, you're not gay. Oh, if you've never f***ed your dad, Ew. you're not gay. <laughs> well, is your dad gay? Irrelevant. <laughs> Because in the first grade, in front of the class, I was mistaken for a woman. Let me paint Wait the picture. Wait a minute. <laughs> Within the middle of giving a braille lesson? <laughs> yes, was I it was blind was for the first bird 10 box? years of my Were life. they blindfolded <laughs> children? Yeah. The teacher was like, ah, uh, I feel a bracelet. I feel a dangly crucifix in leather pants. It must be a woman. In the first grade. We got Nancy yeah. from the craft here yeah. in the first grade. Oh, no, no, so we had an old timey colonial lady come to class. And, um, why are you looking at her? <laughs> Me and the audience are reacting to what okay, said. Okay. I was like a know-it-all. I was very attentive. I liked having all the right answers. And she was asking us after her presentation, like, what did we do? Da, 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 da. And the answer was Tuesday. I don't remember the question was. And I, what day am I gonna die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. But I was like, oh, Tuesday. And she's like, oh, that's not how we answer a question in the colonial times. Please stand up. So I stood up. She's like, what is your last name? I was like, McCook. She's like, okay, Miss McCook. You got misgendered by a colonial woman. A colonial woman. Cause she came Wait back a minute. Time. This really informs. Hello. You went on to be a cross-dresser who wears colonial clothing. <laughs> I wear ruffles. I think. 
She really set you in motion. Yeah, she was my gypsy. She, that was the button that like made me drag me all the way to hell. Yes. Yeah. Were you mortified? I, you, bit, ugh, ugh. It was like- What did the physical sensation feel like? Astral projection. I swear to God, I went above my body and looked down and then said, huh. I'm balding already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a spot on the top of your head in first grade with a little 666. <laughs> but you couldn't even hide like, it. Oh, so this misgendering thing is only uh, the- It's only one dimensional. <laughs> yeah, this is like- She said, Miss McCook, you said Mama. <laughs> yeah. That's Madam McCook to you, bitch. <laughs> Listen. I quit baseball because I was like, these are all straight kids. They're gonna make fun of me. Mm. I'm gonna be ashamed of myself running around the field. But I wasn't gay, because when you think of us as gay now, you got, we're gay, we're gay, fancy people. Yeah. So you think of us as like, confident, nice hair. Cultured. But like, when you're a gay kid, you're not cool or confident. No. You're just like, sitting with the girls. Yeah. Telling them you're not gay. When they know you are. They do. And you're like, I'm not gay. I'm bisexual. What does it matter? Yes. Everybody, we used to call that buy now gay later. Oh yeah. When you're like in 10th grade and you're like, I'm bi. Yeah. Like frosted tips, Abercrombie, mm -hmm. like yeah. I'm, like if you're, if you're tanning and you're wearing a sticker while you tan so that you have a Playboy bunny tanned into your hip, you're not bi, okay? You're not bi, then you have a bim bi. <laughs> like that's not bi behavior. <laughs> that's like too gay even to be gay. So. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, Cause when you're young, you're afraid of being gay in front of straight people. Yeah. And then when you get older and you start dating, you're afraid of being too gay for gay people even. Gay guys don't even like gay guys anymore. No. Have you so ever... I can't be gay. And then once you start dating, you slowly pull back your yeah. G.I. Joe mask to reveal Barbie. Har or Harvey Firestein or whatever. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Barbie, yeah, I wish. Yeah. I... Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I just said it. Is it the Batman just like Batman random Batman of me? Did you just say it? Oh, he's gay. He is? Yes, he is. Was oh, he an actor? No, he's a director. Oh. No. The gay shame, I don't think there's one trait that is not like zeroed in on by gay people for being like loathed. Do you know what I mean? Like, like two- Even gay people. No, gay people are the worst. Yes. They're the worst. Honestly, nobody hates gay people more than gay people and nobody hates gay guys more, more than, than gay themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever masculinized your uh, gait and uh, Voice for another person. I'm doing it now. <laughs> but I remember like dating and being like, I'm definitely gonna wear a button shirt and probably a hat and probably not say that I'm a drag queen right away. And liking drag was like my biggest shame at first. Yeah. I was like, I love it, but I hate that I love it. If I was like dating somebody who didn't know, I would never bring it up. But but like like um on the cro on the on the other side, like with legs like these, who how could I deprive people? I go all the way up. Kick that shame out of your life. Woo! So how did you get rid of the shame of being a drag queen? Get rich. Rich. Rich! Oh, I love to chitter chatter in school. <laughs> no one would talk to me, but I love to talk. <laughs> you were ashamed of being a chatterbox? No, but oh. I would like talk in class, but then if I got reprimanded, oh, I yeah. was mortified. It's like, yeah. you were, I, I was talking. Oh, I was ashamed of, um, I hated having a hairy ass. Oh, in, in, in elementary school? Yeah, third grade. Like, ass like a shag rug. Uh, but normally, like, I hated that. Like, I hated it when uh, puberty happened and body hair came in. I was like, no, ma'am. I was not featuring it. And I, it was like a body shame thing. I hated it. Well, if you had had that in first grade, you wouldn't have got misgendered. That's true. But you would have stood up on your desk and like, pulled out your hairy ass <laughs> and be like, how about this colonial woman? Does this look like a girl? And she would have pulled out her ass that was hairy and been like, yes. You're a woman. When you're a young gay, it's just a 24 hour clock of trying to ignore how ashamed you are of yourself. Yeah. What can I do to forget how ashamed I am yeah. of everything about me? The way I yeah. talk, the way I walk. Oh, the talk. I, I, my voice was so f um, On the phone, I would get mistaken for a girl all the time. Mom. Now, when I try to do that, it doesn't work. Bummer. <laughs> By the time you hit a point in life where you're trying to sound like yeah. a woman on the phone, you can make the sir. money. Out of it. Yeah. What about this? Show me your nails. What? What, what? what do you mean? Show me your nails. Do you remember in elementary school when it'd be like, "Hey, yeah. Brian, show me your nails." And if you're a, a, a straight guy, you go like this. And if you're a gay guy, you go. I've never. And they would I've say never that's heard gay. That. Never. Of heard course, that. I had acrylics you had acrylic. that I would go. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, yeah, what of it? <laughs> yeah. But like, even that getting caught in any sort of like. Like gay, like gay trickery. <laughs> it's scary. That's ashamed. That's ashamed. Ah. Uh
up. I just, I mean, listen, I just, I'm in the middle. I just came, nope. I, <laughs> I just, I'm in the middle. I just. <laughs> um, and good night. <laughs>